You like mom, you like you think this. Do you like it? Um, freedom, mommy. Look, here what ails you. No, I can't hold you with those. Of course. Mom. I'm just gonna use a weight. Okay, so I'm soaking some shiitake mushrooms in just some cold water uh, for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna make ramen. All right, so here we go. I've got the lard and the gelatin. All right, so the broth is in the pot. And whenever you go look at recipes to make ramen, they have, you know, all these Asian ingredients that I just never have. Like they have um, mirin, um, dosh, doshi, or uh, chosh, choshu. You'll, you'll see them. <laughs> like if you go look up, they have um, sake, you know, all these ingredients that I've never owned. Um, so I just simply, I get this because it's at my health food store. Um, it's a miso, you can get, I used chickpea and soy based misos before, whatever, I get one of those. I'll use this kind of in place of um, a salt. I do, I will actually put a little bit of tamari in today too. Um, so a little bit of this, a little bit of tamari, like maybe, depends on how much broth you're using. So go light and once it's salty enough, that's kind of the salt factor. Um, this is kind of to add a bit of Asian. I would use any seaweed or um, kelp that I have. So I have some dulse, or however you pronounce this. I'm gonna put in like just like a little handful of that um, and let it uh, simmer. And I'll grate the ginger and I'll mince the garlic. And I'll probably put it in like, you know, a teaspoon of that. I don't like, I mean, I love spicy food, but I don't make any of my food very spicy because for a number of reasons. You need a little help? Yeah. Okay. So if you just want it to come out as a broth um, with no floaties, then I would recommend cutting the garlic and ginger in big hunks and then steeping it and then straining it. But for me, I don't want to waste any of the goodies and I don't mind floaties. So I just minced and sh uh, grated and those are going to go in. What do you think of that, Bear? Yummy. You like dulse? Yeah. Mm. That'll cure what ails ya. I like these. I like that. Yeah. It's so yummy. I so, got a nice big handful of dulse. And that'll give it some nice flavor. So I just put my sriracha in, but I'm not sure it recorded, so I'm just gonna put a bit more for video sake. <laughs> and then this looks like it brags. It's in a brags bottle, but it's actually tamari, gluten-free tamari. Squirt of that. And I'm gonna use, um, I'm actually not gonna use a whole lot of the bouillon, because it's already broth and I'm using tamari, but just a little bit. Do you like? I like. I like. I like that. I like this and that. You like broth? It's yeah. gonna get hot. Were you asking for something? And I'm gonna use a fair, generous scoop of the miso. Would you like more? Would you like some more? Yeah. My shiitake mushrooms really haven't soaked long enough, but I'm gonna let them continue their steep in here because they will add so much flavor. And then I'm just gonna let this simmer. And once it's, once I'm happy with the result of the broth, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and drop the noodles in. You can always also, like when I'm doing hosting an event, I will actually boil the noodles separate and keep them in the side so they stay, like then I'll rinse them with cool water and I'll just keep them on the side so people can add the broth to the noodle. That way the noodle never gets mushy. So that's how I serve them if I wanna be cooking ahead of time and I'm not serving it ahead or if I don't think we're gonna eat it all, um, if I want it to cover a couple meals, then I'll just boil the noodle separate. These are the noodles I really like. They're millet and brown rice. Um, yeah, they're really awesome. I also do sometimes use the glucomannan noodles. I'll show you those maybe in a minute. I also often will do, you hard boil eggs and then you just marinate them uh, like a ramen, a ramen hard boiled egg to slice on top with, you know, some green onion. It's very lovely. 
Here's an example of a glucomanna noodle. Um, it's a root and it's no carb. It's a soluble fiber, um, so it's really great for digestion actually. Uh, it's from the konjac root. So you could use, you know, they have any, you know, angel hair, the thin ones, or fettuccine, or thick ones, spaghetti, somewhere in the middle. Uh, these ones do have a tiny bit of, I think, soy in them. Let's see here. Yeah, water, organic, konjac root, and soy. But you can get all different brands. I think Miracle Noodle is the most pure, but uh, these are definitely pretty decent. That's how she looks. And a plug for this wild brine raw sriracha. I get it, Naked Naturals, Vancouver Island. Uh, if you want to aid in digestion, always good to have a probiotic. Always put ice in my hand. I want to live in a warm environment, but I want to eat cold food. But you're watering it down. Then use less water. <laughs> Let's try this out, you ready? I'm ready. All right, so today we're having gluten-free noodles with green onions, Massive mushrooms that we probably got from Organic Matters. <laughs> and it looks absolutely disgruntled. We're gonna try it out here. Very good, thank you. I don't know what to say, it's delicious. <laughs>